Hi everybody, this is Gary doing Sentiment Timing and this is our technical video report for Tuesday, April 10th, 2018. So we had a good day today in the markets. Um, yesterday we saw the, uh, you know, everybody got really bearish on these markets. We had a 1% uh, bearish reading and that's what Woody had sent out. And then we had a nice gap up and I, I had mentioned that my, you know, the trigger was going to be after we get the gap up and the pullback that once we take out those highs, that's the buy signal so we you know it should have been right around that 26 22 level and i told you i was going to put my stop right around that 25 95 in that area there because i wanted to give it a little bit of room because of the you know the gap up so once we got up here and we had this big drop uh yeah, you know, I'm, I, I told you I was a little, I wasn't really quite sure what was going on. But then when you find out that the, you know, the reason for this drop was Trump's, uh, you know, attorney's office got raided and that was it. And, uh, you know, everybody that was bearish down here felt good because they were probably shorting this entire thing. And, and they felt like they were on the right side. And now they're feeling uneasy because uh, you have the, you know, the China's back on the table talking about, you know, with the, the tariffs and stuff to eliminate them. And now we have the pattern that's in play. And this is this inverted head and shoulders pattern. And, and the trigger on it's going to be the 2673. But as I mentioned in, in the report today, I think if they, I want to see the bulls get above this moving average here, that's going to be the 2686. I think if they get above that, we're going to see a, a short covering that's going to be really fast up to the 2711. And then most likely coming up to the 2746 level. So again, getting long at at the 2720 and let's say it doesn't make it to the 2900 le uh, the 2800 level even if it makes it to you know i i put our targets down and and target one was going to be this 2710 and target two was the 2746 and then the, the target uh three was the 2800 level so if it just makes it to target one or two and you take some profits off there getting long from the 2620 up there i'm mean, to me those are you know these aren't just singles they you know when you're making uh you know 90 100 points on a trade uh going in both directions it, it's a you know those are you know those are doubles triples and you know if it makes it up to the 2800 that's a home run trade and and they're happening every single you know every few weeks so that i I've, I've mentioned this before the only thing that really our system needs uh is the is volatility because you know everybody is, is shorting because they don't know when to expect the top and they're they're expecting the mark to continue lower and then when you combine it with uh you know everybody being bearish on the market and then inside that you combine it with a uh a, a, a bullish pattern you can see how it can get up here if everybody's short the market or not everybody but you know what i'm talking about the majority are short and they're they're shorting at each resistance zone and getting squeezed and from there you get massive spikes and once we get up to these levels i'm you know i'm willing to bet you know <laughs> my house that everybody's going to be bullish up here and nobody's going to understand why everybody was bearish down here and it's going to be the same thing that happened we're going to get the big drop because volatility is going to be here it's not going anywhere this year and and the thing is is that if you're not anticipating these moves and even when they you know when they seem like they're not going to work if you just keep your head and leave your stops in place and accept that you're going to get stopped out every once in a while uh it, it, and you just let the let the cards unfold the way they're going to unfold and like i said i wasn't really too sure what was going to happen after yesterday's drop and now things feel pretty good and we have some bearish divergences on the 15 minute chart so yeah we could get a pullback i, I would expect it to be some you know i'm thinking that if we do get one i think either the uh the 50 day moving average on the short term chart here uh at the 20 26 46 or down to the 27 uh 26 36 this is where buyers are going to be and and if they come down here and then come back up again what's going to happen is everybody's going to continue to short this market because that's what they're accustomed to do and we know that everybody's been bearish on this market so they're not going to switch until they're forced to switch and that's when everybody's going to be bullish on the market and we've seen that you know week in and week out when once the majority become overly bullish or bearish on the market and we're heading into a turn date 
and we have a pattern or technical reasons to look lower, you just wait for the setup. And then from there, you let it go. So so the bearish divergences, I would expect these areas to hold. Um, again, if you are, you know, if you're depending on uh, what your, your trading strategy is, you can move your stop up to the 20. I would go up to the 2630. You lock in some gains uh, more conservative. I would keep it at the 2609. I'd put it right here. Uh, you, you know, you're risking only about 10 points on the trade, but you're giving yourself enough room where if we get a quick move to the downside and then up, you're going to remain in the trade. And that, that's really what a swing trade would be is you put your stop here. But if you're more conservative, you can move it up to the 2735 and, and lock in profits. But the, like I said, the triggers here are right around that 20. 2674 area once it gets above that i think this is where you start seeing uh the bears start scrambling and that's above this 2686 from there i i think that this you know a move up to the 2750 is going to be coming a very very fast manner and from there again i'll i'll only have a, a third of a position to see if we get up here and i'll place my stops and most likely that's going to be coming into our you know our next turn date to where looking for a top and everybody's going to be bullish on the market so so the bulls, you know, they they got they need to get above here to trigger it. Um, really, what they have to defend the important level is is this twenty six ten level. If they get above that, then you know I'm gonna call the this. Uh, it inverted head and shoulders pattern i'm going to say it's not really going to be happening and from there I, I don't think i'm going to be shorting the market i'll move to neutral until the time period comes to when we should be shorting but you know i don't have to be in a trade all the time right now this looks very good and if i get taken out um you know of my long position then i just wait for the next setup but right now i you know the way that the things are set up with uh the extreme bearish levels there and with the gap up and us coming down i don't think that extreme extreme bearish level really move too much so from there uh you know we got to let watch them see if they get squeezed and if they do i wouldn't be surprised to see uh the upside targets hit and that would be right around that 2710 to 2750 and then the 2800 so with that let's see what plays out tomorrow have a great night and i'll talk to you guys in a